What's up my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from a beautiful but hot Venice Island. Another gorgeous day down at the beach. Five out of five. And it was five out of five yesterday. Also over in Miami. I had a great day trip over there and made a few lasting memories. But this is just in breaking. Wells Fargo approves XRP for payments and credit card and loan debt. Are you witnessing this right before your very eyes? Wells Fargo accepting XRP for payments. JP Morgan Chase accepting XRP for payments. Bank of America using XRP with a patent ready to flip the switch. BlackRock tokenization on the XRP ledger through ArchAx. ArchAx saying that there's going to be 30 to 50 trillion coming to the XRP ledger within the next 12 months. XRP, the world's bridge currency. Let's continue on. The title of this episode is Quantum Leaps Incoming for XRP. Uh, uh, absolutely any day now. Uh, how high and how fast? How many of these quantum jumps and how high does she go and when may she come down? I don't think she's ever coming down. But the real uh, title I went to I went with is uh, Quantum Price XRP Jumps Begin Any Day Now. But what happens in January will stun the whole world. Absolutely watch this episode, episode to the end. I got a great one from you guys today. And thank you as always. We're only about 600 subs away from 15,000 subscribers. So indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notifications, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for a Thursday. And also, if you do Twitter, follow me at RobXRP007. I love my XRP family over on Twitter as well. Uh, and you know what? As you guys all know, uh, for me, buying XRP is easy. You know, I buy it. It goes light, lower. I buy it some more. As long as she's under uh, the 2.36 fib, I'll keep unpacking and stacking. But the hardest part, and I get comments all the time on this channel and other places with uh, people wondering, say, how am I going to off-ramp my XRP? What's going to be a safe, secure route to go? Uh, where am I going to put it? You know, I got too much. It's just, you know, is the bank's going to be a safe route? I get that. Well, I have a great announcement. And by the way, just to kind of expound upon that, uh, where do you off-ramp? Uh, not financial advice, but you know, the banks are, may not be the, the safest place uh, to putting your profits in. You know why? Ever try getting $5,000 out of your bank and what, how much trouble that is? Well, if you think getting 2000 or 5000 is uh, difficult uh, out of your bank, well, try trying to get 500000 out of your bank or a million out of your bank or $3 million. You kind of get the point. So are there better alternatives? Uh, yes, I'm happy to announce that the fine folks over at Caleb and Brown down under my beautiful Aussie mates uh, reached out to me uh, thinking that there were some synergies between our two brands. And yes, I will be working with them. And I got to go back to about four years ago. When I first got into crypto, one of the very first places I started to follow different YouTube influencers and people that were good TA people, I got into, I watched Kevin Cage and I became part of his Patreon group. And I cannot begin to tell you all the times that he wouldn't mention Caleb and Brown. And I cannot begin to tell you all over the last four years, how many times that name has surfaced up is where are are you going to off ramp when we actually hit our targets whether it's utility targets or bull run targets Caleb and Brown was the solution so that was the one exchange brokerage that I wanted to have more than any other set up and happy to say that I got it and if you're not familiar with them and I'll just also kind of go to this it's like Kraken is one of my um, and, and just about Caleb and Brown uh, they're just really outstanding people. And you know, I have a Kraken exchange. You know what bugged me about that? First, I was so excited. What I loved about Kraken, I could actually pick up the phone and call them if I had a question. They had a phone support line, which blew me away because no other exchange could do that, and especially if you're dealing exchanges uh, uh, overseas. And you know, they took that uh, support line down. It's been down, has not come up. It's been down for about four months. I was so unhappy about this. So not only is uh, Caleb and Brown will pick up the phone, but it gets better it's like they will actually uh, assign you a broker uh, they are available 24 7 and access uh, to assist you and they will also even assist you with your sell targets when you're when you're trying to figure out where am I going to uh, stagger out with profits uh, so if you are interested in looking at an account setting up an account uh, real simple just click the link down below uh, and then also know that there is KYC with this and you know what is at first I'm, I'm like one of the anti KYC people so it drives me nuts when, when I have to go through uh, some KYC but when it comes to your wealth and your your 
uh, your future prosperity, uh, a little KYC is well worth the price. So I didn't blink an eye when I had to do some KYC on this as well uh, to be able to set up account because yes, when it comes to security and safety of your XRP, uh, nothing is more paramount. So that will kind of come along with that. I'll be chatting with him in the day's future as uh, as we move on here. But yeah, I'm so excited about that. Just absolutely makes my day. In the comments, uh, Byron Kennedy says, not sure why you're talking about October 7th as a date to be concerned about with the last date for appeal. He says, whereas the parties are both pleased with the outcome, I agree that there's not going to be a uh, an appeal that happens as well. However, that's not the same for the banks and the institutions. They absolutely will not because of their legalese uh, jump into this until that final let the fat lady saying that date come and gone which is October 7th that's why I think it's important uh, uh, and yes also in the comments um, uh, Toko I uh, uh, TRM Toko, something along that. You know who you are. He says, just hit 14,000 XRP. Congratulations. He says, 10K to the moon and 4K to play. I like the way you think, my friend. Uh, and also, this is from Ralph Powell for a little bit of, uh, of perspective. He says, we have six years left to make as much money as possible uh, before it all falls apart. And I got to go back to, I'm really fascinated by the Farmer's Almanac that has when to buy and when to sell. And it's been so accurate and it goes back well before the uh, back to the 1800s I believe it's absolutely fascinating so this first and it's an oscillator chart going up and down and it's got a small little peak and then it's got a large peak well we hit that small little peak guess what at the end of 2025 we go down and we hit that large peak at uh, and, and 2030, which coordinates with Ralph Palace, it all is going to go to hell in a whole basket. And it was what he's thinking. He says, but right now, he says, we're with, uh, witnessing the fastest, fastest growth of technology in history and the largest change as uh, in the human species as we know it. And it's 100%. I'm watching a fascinating video. And I, even before I started to watch the video, I knew some, a number of economic factors, but I knew the largest one would be artificial intelligence and replacing the workforce all over the place. Not just your jobs at McDonald's. Amazon, half of their workforce is, guess what? Now robots instead of employed humans. Uh, and then also in the really high skilled um, fields like medical, lawyer, you're all going to see it happen. Now, breaking news, Treasury, uh, urges the U.S. policymakers to regulate crypto uh, um, before the next crisis. Listening to all this, the Treasury. So we're going to see if we can't get this ushered in for the end of the year. It's not uh, uh, earlier. September to remember, Fed's most likely to lower rates before the elections. That's right. The FOMC meeting is going to be September 17th and 18th. Um, everyone's anticipating we'll have rates lowered. That begins, and then there'll be other rate cuts before falling into the end of this year. We're going to see the markets fly, including crypto as well. Uh, DNC, don't forget it, it's on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, uh, 19th through the 21st. And also the XRP Ledger will shut down on the 19th as well. Hmm, could that be a reset? Is there something happening behind the scenes? I'm sure there is. And worth repeating, uh, Bitcoin is the one that we want to see making moves because it does correlate with the market. So we're looking for Bitcoin again to get between 75 and 80,000 above that all time high to help signal XRP to move in tandem to break a dollar and then go up and, and move past the dollar and move into that $2 area. Uh, Fiat leak rarely posts, but the, they do, and they did today. XRP poised for a breakout. He says, legal triumph and bullish signals point to a 70 cent momentum break. And yes, we're gonna be looking forward if it can get over that 75 cents, hang on to your shoes, it's into your hat, it's gonna go fast. Michelle XRP says, if you are still here, you persevere. He says, uh, accumulate over the years uh, and months until it's actually accumulating over the years. It's just been grueling until we see final regulations. Uh, yes, so number one, we already have that ruling. Number two, we're waiting for, for me personally, for that date to come and go, October 7th, where the SEC cannot appeal. Uh, number three, we got, where's my number three? There it is, JP Morgan, stable bill before, before elections. That would be in October. Number four, uh, um, in the news, Democratic, uh, uh, Chuck Shoemaker Schumer says that we need crypto regulations by the end of the year. Do we see that in December? And then what does that leave for our January? 
Well, in the absolute best for last, that has me so fired up. Uh, this is uh, Jim Willie and that uh, one hour video with um, uh, their son over at Black Swan Capitalist. And once again, thanks, thank you, Todd, for uh, bringing this to my attention because I'd watched all of it, but I missed this one minute mark out of an hour long video. I went back and watched it. It's sure straight up fire. Jim Willie says, country to country trade settlement, bilateral, quarterly or monthly, you take your pick. Uh, is is where XRP comes in and will be utilized. He says uh, he's expecting not one, but maybe three, four, five, even more quantum jumps as XRP starts to go up. He says it's not going to go 50 cents, 60 cents, 70 cents, 90 cents. He says it's going to go 50, 60, 70, $2.80 quantum jump. Two four, you know, 280, 290, 350, $7.80, another quantum jump. 750, 8 dollars, 850, 870. These are just kind of random numbers. He's given an example, by the way, not hard numbers. Quantum jump to 26 dollars. He says he was charging with one of this is a really smart client, and he says, I and his client says, I got some news for you, Jim. He says, uh, XRP is going to suddenly go to 32 50 dollars per XRP. It could just be one magical silver and gold XRP uh, Christmas for everyone. And just uh, the final little bit of note of just what can we be stunned and stun the world by by January. This is Todd in the Todd Report. It goes on to uh, further speculate. says we're getting close to that real uh, USD going live. That will be a day to remember. It's going to be so much uh, so exciting to see how that might move the price of XRP on that day. I imagine there's going to be a few live streams on that one. He says SEC won't appeal. I agree. 921 is the end of summer. Uh, yes, we are getting closer. That's only 36 days away. Who's counting? And he says Hope Jim is right. Says we could get an XRP to $8 to $20 by September or the end of September. Uh, would you be smiling if that were to happen? Comment down below. And then he says, and then XRP by January could jump 200 to $600, that famous Shannon Thorpe target, as well as that beautiful 589 just rounded off to $600 by January. Comment down below, that'll do it for me. Um, it says, you know what? I tell you what, if you understand the problem that XRP, uh, XRP solves, you understand this is more within the realm of possibilities. That'll do it for me, everyone. See you guys in the next episode. Peace out.